I know I'm late. I know. I know. I'm here. Okay? Sick with the flu. I'm here. Um, Fenty. We're gonna get into some Fenty Beauty. I'm so excited. I had to get my orders in pieces. The only thing that I do not have that I really want to try is the primer. I'm so, so sorry. I hope you guys still stick around and see my thoughts. Um, I've just been too sick to order it or go out and get it. My focus has been my health. And I'm ready, so let's just jump right in. First things first, this foundation, and we're going to jump right in. So this is the Fenty Beauty... I should have my phone with me, but it's, it's, it's updating. But this is the Pro Filter Foundation. These come in a range of shades, as we all have seen. I'm not going to give you guys any information you guys already know. Um, I have it in the shade 460. I need to get 450 because come the winter, this is going to be way too red for me. Um, my really neutral yellow undertones really come out in the winter time, so it's gonna be it's gonna pull way too red. And when I went to Sephora, the woman was just like, "This may be too red for you," but we weighed it and let it dry down. That's the my biggest thing. If you are go, if you do plan on going into the store and trying on this foundation, when you test it on your skin, let it dry down for a minute. Take your time in Sephora. Let it dry down. And then see how it pulls on you. Because when we first applied it, it was way too red. But once it dried down, the real color tends to show out in this foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and with this. And of course, I did not whip my beauty blender. Oh my god. So I'm going to go in with the shade 460. Like I said, and this is the packaging. Let me, you guys have already seen this stuff. But that's the foundation. And I'm going to just put a couple pumps on the back of my hand. It's kind of a liquidy texture. Kind of is. Kind of not. Like, right like that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's going to start to look way too red on me. But it dries down really nicely. I did wear this foundation out. I did wear it to work one day just to see how it lasts. And... It lasted all day. This is a matte foundation. If you are more of a dry skin, I don't know how you'll feel about it. But it is a really matte foundation. And for my oily skin, literally, I barely had to blot with this. And I actually really do like this foundation. I'm looking through the viewfinder and I can see how red it is. Like... But once I powder up and everything, it doesn't look bad. This is like my summer shade. So as you can see, I only need it a little bit. And it's a really matte foundation. I love the coverage. It is more of a medium to full coverage. It is buildable. Um, I might need a little bit more like on in here. So now I'm going to take my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer and Deep Neutral. I'm just going to highlight. So like when I went to Sephora and tried it on, I left it, she tried it on like butt down here because I already had on makeup. And I left it on all day and I didn't see any issues with it in person. And then, I, well, I bought it, of course. And then, I wore it the very next day to work. Full day. Had my makeup on for about 10 to 11 hours. And, I loved it. So, I'm just blending out my concealer. Like, even now that I've added my concealer, as you can see, 
the foundation has dried down I've added in my concealer it fits me a lot better this is like a hundred percent my summer shade but winter I'm not really sure so now I'm gonna jump into highlight and contour so I'm gonna go ahead and and I did purchase a matchstick trio. This is in a deep 400 uh, matchstick trio. The div this trio retails for 50, 53, 54 dollars, which you are saving a few dollars because these retail for 25 dollars each. So you are saving some money. So I do have the contour stick and espresso. So that's what that looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and contour with this. I've never used this. This might not work for me. At least not with this foundation shade. It's way too red. Okay. So, with my more... My other foundations, this contour will work. With this foundation, I feel like it it just doesn't work. Um, because of all the red that's in it. Like, you barely... To me, it just doesn't... It just doesn't work. It's way too red. That doesn't work for me. Not with this foundation. It'll be great if I had on like um, one of my foundations with more of a yellow undertone. Then this will work for me for a contour. But with this foundation, all that red just like shouts out at me. And I'm not really feeling that. Uh, but now I'm going to go with the highlight like concealer type shade. And this is the shade Suede. So these matchsticks can be used as concealer. Um, and this is a matte matchstick, and she also have also has shimmer ones. This is really creamy. Um can we use this concealer or whatever? I like this shade, it's super creamy. See how it blends under the eyes. I like this extra highlight underneath the eyes because I have not been sleeping with this cold unless I'm taking some cough medicine. That blended beautifully. Beautifully. I don't need much since I already have on concealer, but that blends it beautifully, you guys. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like suede a lot. My skin looks really flawless, by the way. So, then we have the shimmer in that trio. So, each trio comes with a contour shade, highlight shade, and a... Shimmer matchstick shade, and this is the cinnamon that that trio comes with. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch cinnamon for you. Beautiful, it's like a really bronzy, rose gold type of shade. It's really, really pretty. I'm just gonna put it on a little bit, and I really do like these matchsticks. And they said they also are creamy enough to where they can be used um, on top of powder as well. And I have one, and I have used it on top of powder, so that I can say is true. And you can go ahead and build them, but they are a really natural glow. And I just like to apply them, build them up, and um blend them out with my finger. Let's 
gonna add a little bit of my cheeks. It's a really natural glow. I really do like these shimmer matchsticks. The glow is so pretty and natural. It looks like you're glowing from within. Like, I love them. So I'm gonna go ahead off camera. I'm gonna set my face with a little bit of powder, eyeliner, throw on some lashes, and I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna get into the rest of the products that I have. All right, guys, so I went ahead and set and everything, and let me tell you guys, I'm loving the way my face is looking. Like, I'm literally loving it. So, the last matchstick I picked up was Rum. I absolutely love it. It's like this beautiful gilded gold. That is Rum. So, this is Rum and that's Cinnamon. Both beautiful highlights for deeper skin. And you can also use these on the eyes. They're so, so pretty. Um, so, I love them both. Um, I did film a video, it'll be out soon, with me using rum on my face. Um, so you'll be able to see that. But look at that. Oh, natural, but very glowy, buildable, beautiful. And these are magnetic, so they just... This is what I do. I just stick them together. And I just put them back here. Stuck like that. So we went on the foundation, we went through the matchsticks. So... I did pick up three of the uh, Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighters. I have two duos and a single. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair back. So I can show you guys what this looks like on my skin. I'm so excited. So first we're going to get into the one I was most excited about. These retail for $34 each. Very reasonably priced. The highlighter is $34. The match is $25. Like... Great pricing. So this is Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge. Ginger Binge is right here and Moscow Mule. And this is more of like a copper duo. By the way, I had to like change my shirt because I my some I'm, I'm sick. My body temperature is way off and I felt like I was baking in that sweater. So on this side, we're going to do Ginger Binge. Which would be great, I feel like, as a blush. Um, so I'm probably going to try it really quickly as a blush. That's what I'm going to do. A nice shimmery blush. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. So this is Ginger Binge. It's a really light copper. Very natural. Putting this on as a blush. Or even like a blush topper. I like it a lot as a blush. And then, to highlight, I'm going to try Moscow Mule, which is like a copper, but I see flecks of, like, gold and silver in it. Beautiful. Moscow Mule is beautiful. Of course, I would not pair these together, but look at that. And I'm going to give you guys a quick swatch of both. Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge. So one side is meant to be like your, most of the left side is meant to be like your natural type of glow. And the right side is meant to be like blinding. So I will be using Ginger Binge as a blush or blush topper. And, and um, Moscow Mule is a highlight. It's so pretty. So I went ahead and powdered off what I just had on. And we're going to move to the next um, highlighter duo that I have. Which is Mean Money and Hustler Baby. 
um, getting these. Oh, oh, duh, Brittany, this is the packaging. This little octagon shape says Fenty Beauty. And on the back, you have like the name and everything. Mean Money and Hustler Baby. So this is like your champagne gold. Which I think looks pretty on everybody. So I'm going to swatch them first on my fingers for you guys. Both of these for me will be a highlighter. So the first one is Mean Money. And then we have Hustler Baby. Look at Hustler Baby. So Mean Money is on the left side. So it's more of your natural highlight. And Hustler Baby is your blinding. So I'm going to go ahead and try these on for you guys as well. And we're going to start with Mean Money. So it gives me like that nice natural glow. I love these, you guys. Like, I love it. Even though the, the ones are more natural, it looks so good on the skin. This formula literally melts into your skin, you guys. Like, so that's me, money. It literally melts. And on this side, I'm going to do Hustler Baby. Look at that. I literally adore this formula. I want them all. So there's two more that I didn't get, and one of the two that I, is, I do want, which is like Girl Next Door and something. I want that one, but that's Hustler Baby and Mean Money. So I'm going to apply a little bit of Hustler Baby on top of Mean Money. Just a little bit. You could just simply amplify it up. Showing you guys that I really am powdering them off. And now we're going to get into the one that everyone is talking about. How could I not go pick up Trophy Wife? So we've all seen it all over Instagram, all over Facebook, all over the internet, all over everybody, YouTube, everywhere. This is Trophy Wife. And Trophy Wife, you get 8, eight grams, 0 .2, 0 0.28 ounces. This is the one that I'm most nervous about because I don't know how it's going to look on my dark skin tone. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to try it anyway. So I'm going to go in with Trophy Wife. And this is like a gold, a gold glitter. You can use all of these highlighters can be used on the cheeks or on the eyes. So this will make a great eyeshadow. But I'm going to try it as a highlighter. And I'm barely touching my skin with the brush. Like, barely. And it's like a green gold. It's like a gold with a slight lime green undertone. I think it's really, really pretty. This is not an everyday highlighter for me. I will be using this as a highlighter, like, on a rare occasions. And, um, but mostly, like, on my eyes or, um, like, as my inner corner highlight, of course, on the eyes. Um, this is like a rare thing for me. This is too out there for my liking. For me, it's too out there. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to just blend it out. And maybe go in with my powder brush, which is the Morphe E41. I love this brush. It's like a microphone. And I'm going to go ahead and like blend out the edges. Just go over it, blending out the edges. And now I like it a lot more. So that is Trophy Wife. Beautiful. So I'm just going to go back in with Trophy Wife and continue highlighting. Because we have one more product to try. So if you are of my skin tone or darker, I would say go really light-handed with it and blend that sucker out. Girl, you blend that out. But that is trophy right Even from all the way back here, like, I'm going to zoom you guys out anyway. So... That is Trophy Wife. So the last products we have to try is the lip gloss. And this is the Fenty Glow gloss. And I love the way it smells. Um, before, I got it when I didn't have a cold, so it smells beautiful. But I'm going to go ahead and try this on the lips.
that is so pretty it's a really nice clear gloss with really 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 tiny specks of glitter that's everything you guys so now we're gonna get into the fun part the final thoughts so now for my final thoughts first things first the foundation that we tried I really do like this foundation it makes it even though it's a matte foundation it makes your skin look really pretty and glowy and like refreshed so typical Rihanna, you never see her too done up. She always just looks the right amount of done up, but really like flawless skin, beautiful complexion, really simple, but kind of done up. Like she's always in that middle. She just always looks refreshed. And I think this foundation really embodies that. You look so refreshed in this foundation and just so youthful and just gorgeous. I love this. Now for the matchsticks. I love the matchsticks. If you notice that you want a few, try grabbing one of the trios first and then get the other ones you want separately like I did. And I still want one more separate. I want the orange um, shimmer stick, mango tango. I forgot what it's called. But I want that as a blush. Um... And of course, like I said, when I get it, I'll show you guys. I love the packaging of the matchsticks as well. But you guys, these are $25. You do get a decent amount of product. These are 7.10 7 grams, 0 0.25 ounces. These are really, look, and I'm still going up. These are really large and really thick matchsticks. I love these. The My least favorite one that I used today, of course, was Espresso because matched with this foundation, I mean, you can kind of see a contour, but not really. Now, had I used like one of my other foundations with less red in it, like when I, if I was to use that, when I get the 450 shade, I'm I'm almost 100% sure it's gonna look beautiful as a contour on me, but that red undertone in the contour stick match with the strong red undertone in this foundation it just didn't pair well together for me um on my skin tone at least because you guys know i'm more like a neutral undertone um i only i only pull a little bit more red in the summer but once i set this foundation you see it matched me perfectly um suede the highlighter one that i use kind of work with my concealer love 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 it blended beautifully these are so creamy like that was so creamy for a stick product stick cream pot product cream to powder product these are cream to powder sorry so 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 good love 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 um, and the two highlighter ones, Cinnamon and Rum, if you have deeper skin tones, I highly recommend these. These are so gorgeous as highlighters on the eyes and a corner highlights. These are so beautiful. I have used rum on top of a powder, and on top of a powder, it's, it's gorgeous. When that video comes out, you guys are going to see. It's so, so, so gorgeous. So I love these. I want more. I love, love, love these. I love the matchsticks. Um, the highlighters, you guys, these are stellar. I love this formula. I love the formula. It, I love how you can pick and choose. You can either go with the more natural side if you're not really going too crazy, or you can go with the more popping side if you are going too crazy, or you can mix them. This can be used as highlighters or on the eyes as like lid shades. I absolutely love love these this formula is buttery creamy and it literally melts into the skin it's absolutely gorgeous um trophy wife is starting to grow on me i will not go this heavy-handed with it but i do love it um and i love that these are all look at my hair looks crazy on the top lastly the gloss i really do like it it's not too sticky it's that right amount of shine. I think everything is really embodies Rihanna as a person. You can tell she put her personal touch in all of these products. I love the packaging of the gloss. I forgot how much this gloss costs. I want to say it was $24. But I absolutely like it. This is an everyday gloss. I will pop this baby on and just go. Um, and overall, you guys, I love how my face looks nice and glowy. And it's really pretty. So... This is my Fenty review, my Fenty face. I loved everything that I used, that I purchased. I loved everything. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. 
if I know y'all, y'all gonna be in the comments. Let me know. Talk to me in those comments and let me know what you guys think, what you guys tried and liked. Anything that you tried that I don't have yet, girl, put me on. I will go get it. I love you, I love you guys to absolute pieces, and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.